it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming. Y'all, we finally did it. We hit the thousand subs. Woohoo! Thank you guys so much. Couldn't have done it without you for sure. And uh, we just, we're so grateful that everyone is, is watching our channel and enjoying it. Um, we've, we've heard from people all over the world. It still blows my mind away. But thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Um, today we've got a cow that has an abscess. Um, we're going to share that with you and show you what we did to get her fixed up. So y'all stick around. A few weeks ago I had a video it was actually on this same cow. Um, she had some kind of fluid pocket underneath her throat area under her chin and her throat and so we you know got her up and it was just a hard uh, tight feeling we didn't lance it or anything at that time we just gave her some medicine and um, watched her you know for a while and it, it went down it got better so we thought we were safe well got to checking on her again and it had kind of moved and the lump was more localized and it kind of went up into more of her jaw area behind her ear so we decided we'd get her up again and um, you know where we could get a closer look so and guys okay if you go to the vet with this exact same problem I've done this I've watched the vet do it a few times this is what he does. He puts the nose pullers in, pulls the head to the side. You've got to, you know, they've got to be still for you to be able to doctor them. Um, I've had people say that was in, inhumane and we were treating our animals bad, but that's what the vet's going to do. So I guess fuss, about, fuss at them, not me. <laughs> you can actually still kind of see underneath her jaw, throat area where it's still kind of doesn't look exactly right but it actually got big there and it busted on its own and did some draining as you can see here it's healing back up but now it's moved up behind her ear so we didn't want to take this is a really good cow she raises good calves and we didn't want to take a lot of chances you know with her and and cause some kind of problem so we we contact the vet to make sure it's okay to um, where this is at, it's okay to be, you know, cutting and sticking needles in and all that stuff. So we got the go-ahead from the vet. He told us to stick a needle in first, and you'll be able to tell if it's um, pus or, you know, something else going on. So you can definitely see here we're pulling out pus. So, yeah. Definitely need to lance that pus pocket and... You know get it drained out so that's what we're fixing to do so watching the vet do this he um and i'm not a vet and i don't claim to be and i don't claim to know all the answers i just this is a simple procedure um that we're going to try on our own so he actually cuts a little cross in the area um so that it doesn't heal if it heals back too soon it won't finish draining out so um, we, we bought some scaffolds, some disposable scaffolds. Um, and so we're just going to like cut a hole and try to get it to drain. And, you know, at first it doesn't want to come out very good, which we did draw a good bit out in the syringe. So that probably was part of it. Um, she, she moved around a little bit once. I missed it on the video and it um, actually got some of it out then while she was kind of bucking around in the, in the head catch. Um, so we, we go back and we cut like the cross in it. We're just going to kind of go around the area that's swollen, kind of mashing, trying to, wait, trying to get some of it to come out. After you got the hole cut, you're going to use some of this um, solution. I just made a picture of what the vet used and bought some off of Jeffers or Valley Vet, one of the two. Um, so you're just going to fill up a syringe. You don't have to use a needle. You can use just the syringe. And you go in the hole that you cut. And you're going to just try to fill up that pocket full of this stuff. And it, it helps to wash it out. So you need to do that several times. Just kind of... I don't think you can put too much of it. So you're just going to... Just keep putting it in. And 
you know, letting it drain out. Um, if at one point you could tell none of this hardly came out. So I watched the vet do this. He like stuck his finger in the hole and kind of, you know, moved it around, maybe wallowed the hole out just a little bit more. As you can see right there, it kind of came out good, but, um, it, uh, he said he could feel the actual pouch inside there when he did that. And so when he gets his next syringe in there and sticks his finger in there, it really works pretty good right here. <laughs> you can see a lot of it came out. So I would suggest wearing gloves. This stuff smells horrible. Um, it's full of bacteria. If you've got any kind of open cuts or anything on your hands, you sure don't want that in it. Um, but you know, we just keep doing this several times and, you know, hoping that this is going to fix her up. So once we get it all washed out as, as good as, you know, we feel good about it, then we gave her a shot of Rest Floor Gold. And um, she'd already had some of that, but it had been plenty of time where she could have some more. But hopefully this is going to get her fixed up um, where she doesn't have this problem come back again. If only you guys could smell that. You can't smell it on camera. Hey, pretty girl. So we're going to keep her up in a lot. We've got some um, yearling heifers already in a lot. We're just going to keep her up with them so we can feed her a little bit and, uh, you know, keep a close eye on her for several days. But as you can see, I think she's feeling fine as she's feeling like fighting. It's been over a week, so we're going to put her and her calf back with the herd today. And uh, hopefully she is fixed up and won't have any more issues. Pretty proud of our progress so far. But looking back, I wish we had went ahead and lanced it when we initially found the swelling underneath. So next time we'll know what to do. How are you feeling today, pretty girl? Wow, it looks so much better. Much better. Good girl. And she's going to be all right now. I hope so. Thanks for watching today. Y'all please like, share, and hit that subscribe button. See y'all next time. How fresh is this stuff? Could be any fresher or we still be grazing. <laughs>